Welcome back to my channel. Um, I used to wear these all the time. I really like the look of it. I feel like it ties together uh, outfits really well, and especially when you're wearing kind of like a more plain top. If you're not like in the mood for some jewelry to like amp it up, this was always cute. But then the pandy hit, and people were wearing these at first as masks. I mean, I guess some people still wear them. And then so everyone was wearing them around their neck, and then they'd go into place and lift it up. And so I stopped wearing them as an accessory. But today, I'm bringing it back and bringing you back into my brain because you did not need to hear all that, but here we are. Hi, guys, I just got back from a little family trip. We were in Oregon visiting the newest member of our family. If you guys saw my videos last week, oh, even yesterday, I think, um, I talked about I traveled with my mom and my dad, uh, which is like the first time I've done that probably since um, looking for colleges. And I gotta say, all things considered, it was super fun, super smooth, and um, we all stayed safe and healthy, and so I am so grateful for that. I had this intention of like bringing my camera and kind of filming like an abstract version of our trip with the trees in the background and the airport before us and all that stuff, and I failed. I got like those few clips that you might have just seen, um, and besides that, I was just kind of trying to be in the moment and enjoy uh, what was going on there. That being said, my mom and I were out one night and we drove by Plato's Closet. You clicked on the video, you know we're talking about Plato's Closet. And I was like, oh my God, mom, we must go there. Literally every like um, secondhand thrift store, fashion, YouTuber, blogger, I watch, know, and have not even heard of, but I'm going to assume all shop there and do videos from there or thrift from there or do hauls from it, whatever. Like Plato's Closet has been something that I've been hearing about, but I just truly don't have one near me. And also I just didn't really know exactly what it was. So to say I was thrilled to come across it would be an understatement. I am going to cut now to that whole experience and then I'll come back and sort of um, now that I've gone, seen it, and uh, shopped it, I'm going to kind of dive in a little bit more um, into some research that I did to really explain if you guys didn't know, like I didn't know exactly what it was, what they stand for, where they were located, etc. Um, just dive into that information a little bit more. But without further ado, here is a short uh, but sweet look at my mom and I shopping at Plato's Closet. Roll it! It's 100 degrees. We're dying in here. We're in Oregon, but we found a Plato's Closet. Yes. And I've always heard about Plato's Closet. I feel like a lot of the like fashion thrifting girls always talk about Plato's Closet. I don't know if they exist in LA, but mom and I saw it last night when we were out and about. Mm -hmm. We're here visiting family and we decided we must go. go. So let's go and see what we can find. Yes. Review. Yes. Scored. Scored big time. Brand new. New balance. New balance. It's girl, so funny. Girl. We were just talking about these. Now, okay. They're $35, which I think is a good deal. I think you could have gotten these at DSW around that price. But, like, you put, first of all, they look brand new. They were maybe. Look, maybe nobody weren't. On. No. Nobody Brand walked. new. Yeah. And they fit you like a glove. So it's like you could have tried it chase this down at like a DSW, but like, why? Easy peasy. Ooh, they have a comfort insert in them. Yes, they do. And they are comfort. I would say a review of Plato's Closet is that 
It's super curated. Very much so. So organized. I loved it. It's not like overpacked like a lot of the, like Crossroads trading near oh, us. Yeah. I like it, but it's like super packed. This was a lot more um, specific and sort of like. And also you could try things on, which was great. Yeah. And they, super nice in there. Yeah, it was really great. Nice. Also, Oregon doesn't have any taxes. Right. So the price Straight is the up price, 35. which is great. So Plato's Closet. I will say they don't have like super... I, I'm, I'll insert right now like what their brands and shopping like lists are. So did you see that? Yeah. At the front, it was like, oh, we love these brands. They're sort of like very neutral brands as opposed to some high of the end. other place. Well, high end, there was no like no high end stuff, but mm -hmm. also nothing like super funky. Everything was pretty like Forever 21, Brandy yeah. Melville, like, but right. we... We it tried a few things. Oh, a lot of Old Navy. Right. Old Navy stuff. Like stuff like that. Yeah. But, but what I liked about it, not only did they have small, medium, large, but they had extra large and they had larger sizes over that. Yeah. So everybody can shop there. Yeah. A variety of sizes. And men's size. And, and men's, men's stuff. stuff too. Yeah. It was pretty, cool. pretty good. Yee hee. Party on. All right. All right. There you go, our little adventure. I was really sort of surprised at how small the store was. Of course, this is just one of many Plato's closets, um, but just off, off of a first um, sort of experience, uh, my first opinion about it is that it was rel relatively small and like, I didn't feel like they had that much product, which in many ways, specifically for my mom and I at that time was like good, so we didn't have to like, pick through piles of stuff. It was like pretty heavy, heavily curated, but in like my size, there were very limited in a bunch of different like categories. So I'm not sure if that's just how it is across the board or just in that specific store. Anyways, at the end of that review, I was talking about like the brands that they seem to carry and I did that like, you know, um, shot so you could see like what brands they do like and they ask for. And I found it a little bit like, I guess I called it, I called it basic, but now I realize they're catering to teens and 20 somethings. Let me dive into the actual website um, to read about it, but that all makes sense now. Cause my mom was like, oh, they don't really have any super high end stuff. And I said, they don't have anything really funky. And I guess like those versions of in our head, like funky and high end don't really play into the teen sort of genre. Not to say teens can't be funky or high end, but like generally speaking, those brands that they were asking for. So according to the Plato's Closet website, um, they refer to themselves as a dynamic teen resale franchise business. It's aimed directly at one of the marketplace's most demanding and discerning demographics, teens and 20-somethings. Using our ultra high value approach to resale industry, uh, we've been able to create a vibrant, kinetic retail experience that not only keeps up with the latest trends and fashions, but builds loyalty and young customers and families who are looking for affordable options and appreciate the opportunity to sell clothes that no longer fit their style. Um, so I, I actually really like that. In theory, I wish I would have known that going in. I think I might have even gained a larger appreciation for it. I will say like the, it wasn't super packed when we were there, but the demographic was all over the place in terms of age. I also thought this was interesting. This um, all comes from a website that Plato's Closet um, contributes to, but it's a website about franchising. So if you were like interested in franchising and having your own Plato's Closet store, uh, this is where you would go apparently to like dive in and get some more research. So they're kind of putting their best foot forward here. Note that. So it asks, why has Plato's Closet proven to be so successful? And then they give you these points. Uh, they pay cash on the spot to customers uh, who are turning in their fashionable and stylish, gently used items. They offer high quality uh, items from all top brands at affordable prices. They discount their merchandise up to 90% off regular prices. Um, you know, all the stuff that we kind of know from most resale stores. Um, we maintain an inventory that constantly offers new items and ever-changing assortment. We carry items that appeared in malls typically in the last 12 to 18 months. They buy all seasons, all days. Uh, we provide a bright, clean experience. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what 
they're same, which isn't like super different than any of the other places I've shopped uh, around here other than the fact that they really are aiming at that specific demographic. And in case you didn't get to read all the brands that they love, uh, I will read them and you and I can decide together whether or not you think this is aimed uh, at teens to 20 somethings. We got Abercrombie, we got Adidas, American Eagle, ASOS, uh, Billabong, Birkenstock, Brandy Melville, Champion, Coach, Converse, Dr. Doc Martens, Fabletics, Forever 21, Free People, Guest, Jim Chark, Shark, H&M, Hollister, Jordans, LA Hearts, Levi's, Lululemon, Nike, Obey, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of them. Pink, Urban Outfitters, Vans, Wilfred, Wild Fable. So yeah, I mean, they also have like Tory Burch, Rebecca Minkoff. So Topshop, a uh, little bit all over the map, but um, claiming to be specifically for that demographic. I think that is very interesting. So then I went and did some research on where the closest one was to me, because again, I've always heard about it, but never saw it. And I'm in Los Angeles. The, the closest one to me is like down in Orange County and then San Diego. So it's a good hour away if I wanted to go to another one. And I gotta say, I mean, if I ever I come across one again, I will definitely go in, check out what they got. I don't think I'm gonna drive an hour down to go to one. I wasn't like, this is my spot. You know what I mean? Like, I definitely feel like there are other thrift shops uh, that I'm a little bit more interested in. At that point, I feel like I'd rather drive to like a very like kitschy, hole in the wall mom and pop shop, um, just my preference. And or a lot of these brands are shoppable via ThreadUp, which by the way, I just got home to three ThreadUp packages. So stay tuned for that. That is coming soon. That's sort of my little review. I don't know if there was anything else that like I really wanted to share with you. Oh, other than they are connected or part of um, Play It Against Sports, which I always thought was kind of a cool place. And then three other places, which I'm not familiar with, Once Upon a Child, Style Encore, and Music Go Round, which I'm guessing all of these are like secondhand used stuff. Let's see what Style Encore is. Um, I'm gonna have to dive into this. This website is at a first glance a little confusing, but it is a women's resale store. So let me know if you've ever shopped there before. Guessing that might be their adult version of Plato's Closet. Huh? Huh? There you go. I hope this was informative for people who were not aware of what Plato's Closet was and are newbies um, like me at the whole, I guess I'm not a newbie at the whole thrifting thing, but I definitely am, and like do little baby steps. I mean, clearly I just keep going back to, th uh, to thread up because I'm comfortable with what I know. Uh, maybe that's an age thing, maybe that's a me thing, but I do like to step out of my comfort zones and try new things and learn new things. Um, and so there you have it. Hopefully this was fun, if nothing else, just to listen to me ramble and watch my mom shop because is there anything cuter than that lady? I don't think so. In the comments below, let me know about your experience with Plato's Closet, also with the Style Encore, and if there's any other like thrifted places or brands that you've been hearing about but just never really learned about like I have, um, I would love to dive in and try it for you. I love growing, learning, expanding, and sharing um, everything uh, with you guys along my side. So thanks so much. Stick around. Tomorrow we'll have a story time. Thursday we'll have some sort of try on. Like I said, I've got like a whole stack of stuff to try on for you guys uh and then um on to the next week and the next and the next i really appreciate you guys and um see you tomorrow